our team had one mission, create a free-to-play multiplayer shooter. Rogue Company blends the exciting nature of an action shooter with tactical decision-making. Rogue Company is all about objective-based gameplay with ongoing content that's delivered on a regular basis and a game experience that is the same across all platforms. Epic Games is releasing a new free game, guys. Yes, you heard me right. They are releasing a new game, but it is not from them. It is from another company. So let me explain. So apparently this game is called Rogue Company. It is going to be released in PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC exclusively for Epic Games. Also, Rogue Company is developed by First Watch Games and published by High Res Studios, who made Smite and Paladins, and you can sign up for Alpha Test, right? And maybe you can play it around in the summer. The release date of the game is also said to be in the late 2020 after the alpha test and the closed beta test. Yeah, you heard me right, this game is published by High res Studios but it will be released and only and exclusively for Epic Games. So what is Rogue Company? It is a third person shooter with a range of playable characters referred to as rogues. The game features objective based game modes and various maps. Matches begin with both teams skydiving from aircraft. I don't know why they make it like that, but it is pretty interesting. To compete against each other in the various objectives. Two game modes have currently been announced. It is Extraction. It is a 4v4 game mode. I don't know why they make it 4v4. And basically everyone is 5v5 game mode. I don't know why it, it is a 4v4. I don't know. I'm sorry guys. I just don't know. So, where the attacking team is tasked with hacking an objective and the winner of the match is determined once the objective is hacked or all players on the team have been eliminated and the other one is Wingman, it is a 2v2 game mode just like in CSGO if you know what Wingman is. So, multiple rogues have already been announced for Rogue Company including Anvil who can place down a barricade, Blur an assassin who can silence her footsteps and Dima who can detect nearby enemy equipment, which is, I don't know why, <laughs> maybe it's just for like Rainbow Six Siege from IQ, you know? And the last one, Phoenix who wields a personal steam pack and Trench who places down barbed wire traps. Again, it is very similar to Rainbow Six Siege. So basically the game is a hero based shooter uh, similar to Valorant. But here's the thing. If you know high res studios, they kind of always fucked up their game. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. Like Smite and Paladins, they don't really get the player base they really wanted. Unlike Riot Games, you know? League of Legends is still the biggest esports online multiplayer games out there for casuals and competitive uh, people like me also. And as always, you know, Riot Games always has a good marketing decision. And of course, the patches, but you know, not so great, but they really do make the game interesting in a certain ways. League of Legends has always been patch and patch and patch and balance, so, so they make the game more interesting. But if you compare it to high res Studios, things are not looking so good. Their first game was Global Agenda back in 2010, and then they released Tribes Ascent, which I play a lot back in the day. It's a uh, somehow 32 versus uh, 32 online shooter like Titanfall, if I'm not mistaken. It was great, but they have to shut it down because the game doesn't have the player base they need to make 32 versus 32 person or people works in the game. Yeah, I know, it is kind of sad, but it was great game nonetheless. Maybe the patch and not making the right decision is the reason they closed the game. And then Smite comes along in 2014. It was pretty good at first because it is something new to the MOBA genre but it really doesn't appeal to anyone anymore right now. People don't really play it anymore. Even the Steam player base, it doesn't reach in the top 10 Steam player base count chart. Also, not to mention Smite is a free to play game and if you compare this to Rainbow Six Siege, it's still so much better than this game. Even the player base has reached like 100,000 in probably average player days, you know? And of course, next up is they release Paladins, a side Overwatch. Remember, Paladins is a free-to-play and it is not more popular than Overwatch. The overpriced Paladins, you know. I don't know about this one. High Res Studios is always in a rough position where they release the game and they just don't do well. I 
really don't know why. I really hope that Rogue Company is going to save or make high-res studios better in their current situation. Of course, the game does look interesting, but I don't. I really don't like the 4v4, and I don't really like the third person because, from my experience from third person gaming, you will always have an advantage when you are hiding or somewhere in a current situation. But with all that being said, I am still looking forward to this game because it does look amazing. Remember this footage that I play in this video, it is still in the alpha test. And yeah, it does look a bit clunky, but I am hoping this game will do well and have a decent player base. Alright, that's pretty much it. That's the things that I know about Rogue Company. Man, if you want to see the trailer and everything, just go search Rogue Company. And if you want to sign up for the alpha test, go to their website, roguecompany.com. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And GG's, my friend. Peace out.